Hello, I'm Mr Maths and today I'm going to talk to you about a functional skills level 2 question focusing on calculating percentages. This is the type of question you're going to find on your functional skills level 2 exam paper. Activity 1, task A. Sanjeet and Marta work, for, work at Grow It Garden Centre. They have organised a discount week. Tools that are £20 or less have a 15% off discount. Tools that are more than £20 have 20% off. And then you've got a list of tools. Fork, £25. Spade, £26.50. And Edger, £19. What is the discount price for the forks? Okay, this is very similar to the level one question that I've already produced a video on, on calculating percentages. But if you look at the marks available, they're considerably lower. This is level two now. You really should know how to do this with ease. So there's only one mark available. Part of the question is being able to understand and differentiate between the two percentages of offers. So the tools that are £20 or less have 15% off and tools that are more than £20 have 20% off. So, it, so part of it is understanding less and more. So what is the discount price for the fork? Well, the fork is £25. So that would be more than £20. So that would be 20% off. So the first thing we do when we do our percentages, I want you to remember this sequence, we divide, we times, then we minus, okay? The first part is dividing. We take our percentage and we divide it by 100. Then we times our result by the price of the fork, which would be 25. And with that result, we, we subtract it from the actual price of the fork. So let's have a look at the answers here. So we divide the 20% by 100 to get 0 0.20. We times that 0 0.20 by 25, which gives us 5. Then we subtract that 5 from the 25 pounds, which gives us 20 pounds. So the answer is 20 pounds. So 20% off of £25 is £20. It's a really quick and easy way to earn a point on your Level 2 Functional Skills test paper. Just remember, you divide the percentage by 100 to give you a decimal number. You times that decimal number by the original price of the product. And then, with the result of that calculation, you subtract it from the original price of the product and this will then give you your discounted price. Divide, times, then minus. And there's one mark available for that. And you need to show all of your working out for that. Okay, I've been Mr Maths and I'll speak to you later.